guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dwight. Here I am in my studio again today. Thought I'd do a little bit of an introduction of what I'm going to be doing today. So today is going to be a test painting. Um, I want to use similar colors on a larger canvas. So I'm sort of on this kick of liking to do the puddle pour or dump and swirl pours with um, sort of like an impressionistic look to it. And I say that because what it, that means to me is that my cells are multicolored. Um, I've done a whole bunch of these before and you know the cells are very much well defined um, but this I want to be more of a have a lot of movement to it so when you look at it it pulls you in but you can also see some composition so I'm going for a blue palette but sort of on the muted side I'm going to be using the artist loft blue that I did yesterday which is a nice base coat because it's nice and rich and then I'm going to be using gosh it's a combination of like three different um, colors there's Oh gosh, there's gray, there's ice pearl, there's ice blue, I think some cobalt blue, but it's um, really sort of a grayish blue, so it's really muted, and I want to see how that plays um, with the deep blue. So let me set up, and I will show you my paints up close, and then we'll get started. See you in a few minutes. Okay, here we are. I'm back down on the canvas here. Let me show you the colors I'm going to be using today. So I'm going to be using this white. It's just Artist Loft Acrylic Flow White, and I'm going to be putting that um, between the layers. Now, this blue I mentioned earlier a few minutes ago is the Artist Loft Acrylic Flow Blue. This is thinner than the rest of the paints because I want it to be on top. I mean, I'm sorry, on the bottom, and I want everything on top to slide around on the canvas. So this is that color I was mentioning. It's sort of a it looks more gray in person than it does here, but it's a nice blue-gray, and I'm, again, going to be using that um, as my puddle and alternating with white. And then, of course, my Artist Loft Acrylic Flow Black. Um, that'll be my dump paint. So there we have my 20 by 24 canvas. I'm going to prep it, and then we'll get started.
Hey guys, it's Dwight. I'm back. Here I am with the final results. Now, I don't know what it is. I know I've been pouring over my paintings, but I think sometimes that works really well. I do know with the paints I used today, sort of doing a literal dump where I sort of threw the paint down, gets these really interesting results. Um, so like I said earlier, I'm really trying to work towards sort of a, a different, more organic feel, and also a slight um, impressionistic vibe if you look at the cells, and I'll show you those in just a minute. So um, yeah, I think this turned out pretty good. This was a 20 by 24 canvas, and I really like the blue that came through. Um, there's movement to it, as you can see, sort of in the corner here, um, up in this corner, and it looks like it's got some movement around. So I move in. Oops, I just put my my knee in some paint. So look at the matrix. I think it's really cool. So look at the the detail. Now it's hard to see. It looks maybe more gray than it actually is, but I just wanted to show you some up close. And of course, the lighting in my studio isn't all that great. So that's cool. So guys, I may have mentioned I am moving. I'm moving the end of August, the beginning of September. I have a studio place in my new house. Um, it's a little bit bigger than my current studio, which is great. So I can fit my um, shelves and my paints. Um, I am gonna be having a table, so I will probably be off the floor, go figure. And actually standing up over a table moving forward. Um, the other thing is is that I am going to work on hopefully this weekend one more large painting. I just ordered a 30 by 40 canvas and I'm going to do a painting um, you know with blues. I don't know about these exact colors but this is what I'm going for. I think these pores work really well on a large canvas because you can really stretch and you can really get a lot of um, reaction. So that's going to be my last serious painting before I move. Um, I can't do a whole lot because I need space to put them. So I will be experimenting. I have a few ideas of something new I want to try. Um, so and I've got some canvases I could use. I've got a bunch of paint that I can go through. And um, yeah, we'll be working on that. And I hope to see you along for the ride. You guys have a great rest of your weekend. We'll talk to you soon.